Hello and welcome to My Secret Math Theater. In this video, we're going to use the 2K rule to determine the number of classes for our frequency chart. Now, this is a great rule to use when you have lots of different data points and they take on lots of different values. By using classes, it allows us to group together some of these data values uh, so that we can better look at their frequency. So, let's look at this rule more in detail to see exactly how it will help us. According to the 2K rule, it says that 2K must be greater than or equal to N. Now, in this, K is the number of classes and N is the number of data points. So in practice, what we usually end up doing is we take our number of data points and we put it in for here and we start searching for K so that we can get a number 2 to the K that is larger than the number of data points. Now, once we know how many classes we need to break this up into, then we can go further and actually figure out how wide to make each of these classes. The way we do that is we take our largest data value, we subtract out the smallest data value, and we divide by the number of classes. Let's look at some actual data to see the 2K rule in action. So here in my data, I have the number of visitors uh, that go to a certain park. I can see that on the first day I had one visitor, second day five visitors, third day 13 visitors, and so on and so forth. And as you can see, I have 20 different data values and they take on many different things. I got one, five, 22, three. And so this is a great application of using uh, classes to help group things together. So according to the 2K rule, I need to look for a value K such that two to the K is greater than or equal to the number of data points, 20. Well, I suggest trying a few different values for k to see what you can actually make larger than 20. So if you use 1, you get 2. Uh, if you use 2 in for k, you get 4. 3 would be 8. 4 would be 16. And 5 would be 32. So we must use 2 to the fifth power so we get something larger than 20. So according to this rule, we will use five classes. Now, of course, that's only half of the story. We also want to figure out how big to make each of these classes. So let's take this further by taking our largest data value, 32, and subtracting our smallest data value, in this case, 0. We'll divide that by the number of classes, 5. Thirty-two minus zero divided by five, six point four. Now, when looking for the width, it's a good idea to round this up to the nearest whole integer. If you round it down, sometimes you won't get the required number of classes that you need. You'll end up with a few extra classes. All right, so here's what we have found so far. I'm going to build five classes uh, by grouping them into groups of seven, and then we can look at their frequency. All right, I think we're ready to build our chart. Uh, let's start off with the classes. So I want to make sure that each of my classes contain seven uh, in terms of my data points. So my first class will go zero through six. Now you might be wondering, wait a minute, that looks like it only contains six, but it does contain seven because of that zero. So think, you got uh, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven is the size. All right, next one contains 7 through 13, 14 through 20, 21 through 27, and the last one, 28 through 34. So sure enough, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 different classes. Now for the frequency, I have to see how many of my data values fall into this class. And so we can start to count them up. 
So let's see, five is in there, one is in there, three, zero. All right, so I have four in the first class. Next class, a whole bunch of them, anywhere between seven and 13. So 13, nine, eight, 12, 11, seven, eight, seven. Now 14 to 20. Let's see, 18, 19, dun, dun, dun. looks like I got five of them. Uh, 21 to 27, I don't think there's very many of those. I have a 22 and a 21, so I guess just two. And last, my 28 to 34. Looks like just a couple of those. So two. Uh, now, when you do have lots of these different data points, uh, you want to make sure that you have them all. Remember that our total frequency here should equal to 20, the number of original data points. So quickly go through and add up all these to make sure that you do get 20. So 4 and 7 is 11, plus 5 is 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Sure enough, it looks like I got them all. So as you can see, the 2K rule really helps us develop classes so that we can group together our data points much better.